All right, so here we are down on the floor, because <laughs> it's easier down here. I don't want them rolling off the edge of the desk. To review the Sphero BB-8, um, there's very small amount of Force Awakens stuff that I wanted to get. Basically, it was this and the Pose X-Wing Lego set, uh, which I also quite enjoy. Um, I, I haven't decided to even try to review that one yet, because like reviewing a Lego set after you've built it is just kind of like, here's a Lego set. I built it. But BB-8 um, is fun. I've been looking forward to this one for like months. I heard they were, you know, I knew they were going to be doing this several months ago. And uh, back in April, I got a, for my birthday, I got a gift card from my mother-in-law for ThinkGeek, and I picked up the original Sphero here, which is a lot of fun. It's got the same kind of inductive charging base here. Um, I'm not going to turn him on and show him around, but like, this one's actually really cool. It's had, got a lot of functionality in it. We've had, me and my daughter have both had a lot of fun playing with this. There's several apps for this you can get. Um, let you drive it around. There's missions you can play. There's apps that let you program macros for it. Um, so, so I knew I was in for something cool with the uh, Sphero BB-8. And I managed to pick it up from Bed Bath & Beyond on Friday. And uh, here he is. He's really cool. cool. So he comes in the nice little packaging. Really nice box, honestly. I generally don't talk about boxes, but this one's really nice. And you just slide it out here. And then inside, you just lift this up. Lift up the uh, pull, or pull out this little inner cardboard flap that basically tells you how to do it. And then inside is BB-8 himself. He comes with a little plastic tray to kind of protect him during shipment, his charging base, and then the little USB cable down here. So you just pop this open, go ahead and pull his base out. Um, and then he comes out. His head will sometimes stay behind in the package. So he goes on his charging base, you pull his head out. And his head's just a magnet with a couple little wheels to allow it to roll around on the body. So you set him down here in his charging base. Let's see if we can't get this zoomed in a little better. Again, it's a little awkward. I haven't shot on the floor before. I'm laying down on the floor trying to shoot this. And then in the bottom of the package, there's a little uh, box that slides out that contains the USB cable and like a little warranty, uh, little warranty guide. There's not any real instructions that come with him. You kind of got to figure it out. He's a little simpler than a Sphero, so it's not that bad. Um, and the, the Sphero, that's the other thing, the, the main app for the Sphero Ball, on top of having all the missions, you can change the colors and everything of it. Um, it's narrated by Brent Spiner, um, and there's a whole tutorial on how to mess with it. So you take the USB cable out, and it's just a USB cable. It doesn't have any sort of plug to it. So you will need like your own plug. You can plug it, you can charge it on a computer. If you have like an iPhone or something, you can use the little plug like that. Any USB plug will work. Um, so you just plug it in, plug it into the wall over here, and then the other end of the USB plugs into the base right here. And once that's on, you'll see the little charging light start to blink. Um, he should be fully charged. Whenever you put him on the base, he'll it'll blink a little bit. Um, and when that light turns solid, you'll know he's fully charged. Um, I'm not going to wait for it. I don't know if it has a set time or if it charges for a full three hours every time you stick it on there. It takes about three hours to get a full charge uh, for about an hour's worth of play, which isn't too bad, uh, all things considered. But yeah, that light will, that will turn solid when he's ready. There's also a little button I found here on the base, uh, right here on the side of the base here. Then when you push it, it'll kind of turn him on and make him look around. So you'll kind of blink him up. He'll light up a little bit. And, uh, oh, the first time I did that, his head started bobbling around. Maybe it's just because I don't have the app on. Now he's controlled by an app. Oh, there we go. Now he's going to look around a little bit. So he kind of wakes up and he just kind of looks around while he's charging, which is kind of cool. <laughs> he's nodding and stuff. Uh, normally I would use my smartphone, and I find the smart my, my, my phone is easier to hold when controlling him. But since I'm using that to shoot the video, um, I've got the app loaded up here on my... Uh... All right, so we had a little bit of fun trying to get him to wake up. But basically you sit him on the charge base um, and then... Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what that button's done because he didn't really want to go back to sleep until something connected with him uh, before. So we'll go ahead and take him off his charging base and just kind of set him down there. And then we'll open the BB-8 app here. The app starts up. Please enter my age to continue. That's new. I am 38. I accept. I don't want to enter my email. Do I have to enter? Okay, there we go. 
Then you get the Star Wars opening logo here. Some face, here comes BB-8. All right, and it connects to him. You'll see him light up and start to flash as it connects. Initializing, and there's BB-8. And you've got options here, drive, message, patrol, and settings. Uh, settings has stuff like um, sounds, droid sounds, whether you want voice recognition on. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Oh, I don't want the, I don't want the, okay. Continue. Okay, we'll, we'll just turn this off. Continue. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Okay. Micro okay, enable. Oh, uh, nope. Nuts went, okay, come on. Okay. No, okay. Um, I just was looking at hitting the wrong buttons here. So we'll wake up. We'll re-enable all the app features and everything. We'll show that off. All right, go back into settings. We'll turn on the voice recognition. I do not want a tutorial. Okay, so you got drive, message, and patrol. Now drive allows you to control BB-8 here. And basically how it works, okay, I, yeah, I'm just going through the first time on my iPad here. Yep, I know how to do all this. How, they're just telling you how to aim. Move the blinking light until it's in front of you. So basically you just move your thumb back and forth until that blue light is facing you. That means he's facing away from you. He's wobbling a little bit here on the ground. Okay, so now that we've done that, and then you move the joystick here on your thumb to move him around. So just go forward. There we go. Oh, oh. You can drive him around. His, his head will usually face the direction he's going to go. So we can get him back in frame here. He likes to run around. <laughs> now you see why I didn't want him on the desk with the edge. So there he is right there. And you just drive him around. Uh, tapping on... Okay, I know I can aim BB-8 at any time. There's a little button right here that gives him different emotes. There's two pages. Um, okay, yeah, that's great. I'll tr try pressing one now. So here's his yes, right here. He nods his head. No. He says, no, no, no. And the, all, all the sounds come out of the uh, device you're using to control it. But uh, you switch that and there's, and there's things. You can make him do a square, a figure eight, uh, run away or an alert mode. There he is, all agitated. Um, I'll have him do a square here. Oh, now he's coming back toward me. Now he's coming back over this way, and then he should end up roughly where he started. Okay, not quite, but uh, there. Uh, this arrow over here controls his speed. Uh, that's his max speed. We'll jack that up a little bit. Um, and then this arrow back over here takes you back out to the menu. So you, you jack up his speed a little bit, he'll run around a little faster than he would normally. Um, so yeah, and that's really all there is to driving it. Um, if you leave him alone, like I said, he's got uh, the, the various commands that makes him happy. So there he is, happy. You can make him rush forward. Now you can give him a little speed boost while he's driving. Um, and this button right here allows him to drive in reverse. Uh, it's down here in the corner. So these, this is speed boost reverse. So now if I pull backwards, he rolls... He's rolling back. He turns his head around. He rolls backwards if in case you get him stuck. So a really neat little droid. He doesn't have quite as many options uh, for play that the main Sphero does, but um, it's pretty fun. We'll go back here to drive. Message. You can record holographic messages, but you, can, you can't. Right now, you can't send them to... Uh... Okay, where did that... Okay, Sphero BB-8. Um, come on, bring up the menu. Oh, well, it doesn't now. It doesn't want to allow, allow me to do that. Okay, whatever. Um, now well, he's got to wake up again. Hold my device near BB-8. And now he doesn't want to connect. There we go. So now it's connecting again. Initializing. Now he's good to go. But basically, it lets you record messages. You can't send them to anybody yet. It's basically just shows a little screen on the thing. And then there's patrol which uh, basically just puts him in kind of an autonomous mode. And he'll just wander around the room. He might wander out of frame. I'll try to bring him back. But you just hit play to start a patrol. And then you can look at all the various different uh, 
things like tracking system. It'll tell you where he's rolled to, um, an event log. He'll, he'll, whenever he bumps into something, he'll report either a life form sensor or if he bumps into something a couple of times, he'll say it was a ship, um, things like that. He'll, and he'll do his little emotes. Uh, you can see about his acceleration vector, his gyro balance monitor, how fast he's moving, how, fa how far he's gone, his current temperature. You know, there, there's just a few little options you can swap through. His chronometer, how long he's been on patrol mode, um, how, like, his speed, how he's been moving. His gyro stabilization, uh, just little things like that that'll uh, move his thing. Now, where are you? Okay, well, so let's go back into drive mode here and see if we can't get him to come back to where he started because he's way over on the other side of my office right now. You coming? Here. Oh no! Oh, okay, I see him. I see him. Come on. Okay, let me let me adjust him. He is way on the way on the other side of the room. Okay, come on. Don't knock your head off. Come on this way. This way. <laughs> he just went under the control board here at work. And here he is back in view. Okay, you're spinning around, you silly, silly bean. So yeah, there he is. Um, it's a fun little toy. Like I said, coming from Sphero, I knew it was going to be pretty nifty because um, I've played with the uh, the original. And uh, you can see he blinks red when he bumps into something. But yeah, there he is. Um, and again, he's his main body is roughly the same size as the original Sphero. Uh, it's not quite as textured because, again, his head has to roll around. Uh, the one drawback is uh, sometimes if you roll around, if you have pets, um, you will get uh, some hair. You can kind of see he's picked up some dirt rolling around there, but you can clean the wheels. But um, yeah, his head just attaches magnetically. It'll pop off while he's rolling around in autonomous mode sometimes, but, uh, you know, it's fun. So yeah, it's really neat. The technology inside of it is really cool. Uh, um, and you see he'll kind of emote and mess around when you're not actually actively engaging him even in drive mode. So it's a fun little toy. Like I, It's probably my favorite thing from Force Awakens that's out so far. Um, granted, I only, I've only gotten the two things. I've seen all the action figures I've had. I, I found plenty of the stuff that I could buy. Um, but I'm, I'm not going super nuts on merchandise. I don't, I don't collect, I like Star Wars. I don't collect a lot of Star Wars things. Um, I've got like the Han and Luke Black Series Stormtrooper figures, and I got some Jawas and the Commander Doom figure, and then, then this and the X-Wing. I, I am a big fan of the X-Wing. I hope we get a Lego set that is the uh, standard blue and white uh, resistance colors in that same build as Poe's X-Wing. But, um, but yeah, I'll probably get a couple of Lego sets action figures I, mean, I don't really want to spend money on action figures until i've seen the movie bb8 uh, regardless of how he is in the movie he's a fun little toy and i'm glad i picked him up so yeah uh, and then when you're done you just uh exit out of the app you can just close down the app and just put him back on his little charging base and he will uh he'll glow orange and then shut down and now he's charging so yeah uh definitely worth picking up uh kind of hard to find right now some places may still have him uh, I think there's a restock coming. Most places are saying an expectation of November. Uh, physical stores may get a few more in. Best Buy may get some more in over the in coming weeks. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond might as well. I think Brookstone's also carrying it. There's also some smaller retails, retailers carrying it, like Hobbytown USA. Um, and you can go to Sphero.com slash Star Wars and, uh, or Star Wars dot Sphero dot com. Um, and find out where all the retailers and the retailers, all of the Sphero retail partners are listed, and which ones have BB-8 are clearly marked. Each one will say BB-8 available um, if that store will be carrying it. So you might find some retailers uh, that you wouldn't normally think to look at for him and pick them up there. But like, definitely worth picking up. It's a fun little droid. Um, and like, and like I said, if you're if you're, if you're into robots and fun little things, even if you can't find a BB-8, um, I do recommend the original Sphero. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Actually, this is the 2.0 Sphero, but yeah, the um, the main Sphero toy is 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 a good good way to enjoy yourself. Like Kira's programmed a couple of little uh, macros that she can make him do. There's a golf game for him. There's all sorts of neat stuff for the main Sphero. And this one should have some more added functionality as time goes on. Uh, the uh, Right now, that it's a little limited because they only have access to so much information prior to the movie release. But uh, come uh, 
once the, once the movie comes out, they they've built this specifically to be able to add some features to it as uh, as they learn more and, and as time goes on. So there might be some more games, some more interactive elements coming for him uh, down the road. But yeah, fun little Star Wars collectible. Uh, probably the, my, one of my favorite thing Star Wars things I've ever ever had. And it, like I said, it's fun to just set him on patrol and let him wander around and check things out. He, there, there are times when he seems almost like he's aware of anything. There's no sensors in this. It just kind of, it has the, prox the, the, the you know, collision detector. But other than that, like it doesn't have any sort of visual or uh, proximity sensors built into the toy. But uh, even, even so, sometimes he will seem very aware of his surroundings. Uh, like my dog walked into the kitchen when I was playing with him the other day and accidentally kicked him. And he went right under a stool and, and kind of hid back there for a minute and then slowly crept up and stopped right at the edge of where the stool was and kind of looked both ways and then came forward some more. Which, again, it has no proximity sensors. It was just the random actions of the toy. But it looked like he was hiding and then making sure it was safe before he came out. So uh, even without some of the more interactive uh, sensors and things, uh, very, it has a very strong personality <laughs> in and of itself, which is a lot of fun. So yeah, there's BB-8 from Sphero. And uh, like I said, if you, if you can get one, by all means, pick one up. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. All right, so a couple of things I had to go into settings and fiddle around with to get uh, everything set up to work with him, right? So now that I've got the camera and the app and all that, go to messages and I'll show you how the messaging works like so here's a message that he can display already established so you tap the message you line BB-8 up with a reticule and he should be facing away from the thing but it'll look like he's may not be far enough back here there we go it should look like he's displaying a holographic message and you can record your own messages uh, a lot of people like to say, uh, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, but it'll, it'll make him look like he's displaying a little holographic message. Uh, you can record your own or read the, see the one that's in there. Now, uh, um, that, that, that X-Wing one is built in. Uh, the, as, and like I said, you can't send them to other people yet, so it's basically just recording messages for yourself, really. Um, he also has voice commands. I don't want to go into patrol. Uh, and, and some of them are basic, and they, they may allow for more of those uh, later on. So let me turn on voice commands here, which you do right here. I don't need a tutorial. So if, when you go into the drive menu, you say, okay, BB-8. Hey, BB-8. Huh, it should be giving me... Um, no, not settings. Should be listening. I got the microphone and everything set up and turned on, so uh, maybe, maybe I can go through the tutorial. But yes. Okay, BB-8. All right, now you got his attention. Look around, and he'll and he'll kind of roll around and and. To stop him to explore. Okay, BB-8. And he's got. I've got his attention again. Okay, BB-8. It's a trap. And he'll freak out and run and try to hide. Hey, come back here. It says, "Look at him go," because he ran off. Okay, let's get. Let's go to drive. And once once you've got that activated, you can do it from the drive menu. Come on. There we go, let's get him back in frame here. Come back here, you. Okay, BB-8. How are you doing? What do you think? Okay, BB-8. Oh, usually, usually, well, on my phone it will pick that up and it'll start, uh, maybe it's because I didn't finish the tutorial. Yes, okay. Okay, BB-8. Okay, BB-8. Okay, BB-8. Huh, am I covering the mic? Okay, BB-8. Okay, BB-8. Hmm. Okay, BB-8. 
It was just working. I don't know why it's not registering that. But there's different commands you can give him. Like, it's a trap. He'll run away. Um, how do you feel? He'll react with one of his emotes. Um, and, and, and do random things like that. Um, I'm trying to think. You can say, look around or go explore. And he'll go running around uh, doing this stuff. Okay, BB-8. Okay, BB-8. Okay, well. It's acting up, but that, that's how the voice command works. You kind of saw it a little bit. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I just want to make sure I went back now that I got the camera and microphone set up to show off those uh, those features uh, of the toy. But yeah, neat little toy. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, the Sphero BB-8.